Oh boy, if the tables have turned. Come on. By the way, this GPU is broken. I mean, at least we bought it as broken. So now we're gonna try if it is actually broken or not. Now this one should not give us a signal because we bought it as broken. Let's see. Let's see. All right. And this GPU does not have an HDMI port, by the way. All right. It's going full speed. That's interesting. It's freaking flying. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> All right. Like it would have been better if I had a motherboard with a postcode, but at this point, pretty confident that it won't boot. So all right, let's get into fixing it. All right, now this GPU is broken, as you've probably seen. So, you know, the only thing to do is just dip it in water. Come over, man. All right, here we are again. Oh, by the way, I have another one of those broken, so here it goes. And now, let's get into business, boys. Kindness. Kindness is key in life. Basically, we removed those guys. Don't do this at home. Uh, if for some reason they touch them, they touch each other, it literally gets on fire. So, yeah. Now, who said that the sly isn't a thing in 2020? We need the bridge, bro. Yeah, let me just bridge them. Now we're trying to manually flash the BIOS. As you can see, we had to bend these capacitors here, which, you know, not the best, but we had to. And now we are currently flashing the BIOS. We are 13% in. Let's hope this fixes it. Fai vedere che fa la pallina di... Ce l'ha, ce l'ha. Shunt mod, bitch. All right, we shunt modded it. 
even on the PCI Express and we resoldered a resistance. Let's see if it works. Okay, you gotta be ready to turn it off if it catches on fire, All right? Turn it on, go. Close, bro. Go. All right, turn it on. I don't see any smoke coming out. Touch it. That's good. It's still cold, unfortunately, and we still have no signal. It's all right, it's all right, we tried. All right, now this is the GPU we've soldered. As you can see, we have the shunt resistor soldered. We have this resistance here soldered. And we also have the PCIe resistance soldered. And well, if we go over to HDMI 3, we have a signal finally. You know, we still have to fix the PCIe connectors, but we have a signal. Is how you use a multimeter to test which part of a GPU is broken. Now you simply connect the ground here and now you take the 12 volt, of course you want it to be on volt, all right? And then you check the resistance, you know, you check where there is voltage. Now, the first thing you wanna check is if it gets voltage from the PC Express. And in this case, it's this chip is always a chip like this. So, you know, you just go over it and we see if we actually get a number. And well, as you can see, um, if we get it right, we get a number, we get 26, which is right. Now, we just check those ones on the top, all right? We are currently checking it, and as you can see, same. So those two are working. Now we know that those two go here, and as you can see, boom, working. So power delivery is not a problem here. those capacitors came out so it just soldered a wire and this should give me enough time to see if that's the problem all right now as you can see i have i have yet to fix those two that's why i ordered this heat gun all right because now i can desolder stuff better and also I can try a reball. All right. Let's go. All right, now you want those to hold the GPU. Here we go. All right, as you can see, perfect. All right, now we bridged the shunt resistor with a place that I measured and like it wasn't receiving voltage. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, apparently my plug is not connected. All right. Now it is. It's turning on. We did not see any kind of sparks. That's a good sign. But, you know, it's still not getting hot. Still cold. That's bad. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, at least this one isn't burning. That's a nice plus. Right now. As you can see, if we check the shunt resistor, all right, we have 25, which is the proper number. Now, if we check this shunt resistor, we still have 25, but I believe that this one isn't making proper contact. So I'm gonna try and bridge it. Now you might see some sparks.
Oh wait, yeah, that was a spark. Uh, as you can see, still more sparks. But it looks. Uh, ooh. Now this is not the best way to make it have proper contact, but it's still a way, right? And we have a short circuit protection, which means if it makes proper contact, it doesn't work. Well, boys, this is my new keychain. How about it? All right, I guess sometimes it just doesn't work. In the end, I managed to put the capacitor back pretty well, if you might say. And I also swapped out this guy for another one and it is making the proper contact. Um, the only thing could be that like, we still don't have voltage in this part, so it might be that it's not soldered properly on this side. Uh, but as of now, we don't have output anymore. So I believe I fried uh, this part, so I won't be continuing. So I guess this one is a failure, but hey, I got myself a new keychain, so hey, I guess it was worth it. Eh, not so much. <clears throat> See you.